Eight most common etiquette mistakes. Being nice to others in all situations is the most important rule of etiquette you can follow. You may not know proper placement of dinnerware or when to use which fork, but most people will forgive you for those small infractions. If you are one of those people who are chronically late, you are showing disrespect for other people's time. When you agree to show up at a certain time, be there on time. If you are occasionally late, you will probably be forgiven if it isn't something you do often. When you are with two people who don't know each other, you should always introduce them. If you can't remember either of their names, politely say something like, I'm sorry. I know we've met, but I can't recall your name. Then use the person's name during the introduction and afterward in conversation. If you include something you discussed with that person in the past, it will soften the fact that you forgot his or her name. Always give the person you are physically with your attention. If your cell phone rings, or you receive a text that needs immediate response, politely excuse yourself and keep all electronic contact brief. Then when you return to the person, apologize and refrain from making a habit of chatting on the phone or texting when you're with someone. When you are invited to any event, whether it's a dinner party or wedding, let the host know whether or not you'll be there as soon as possible. Failing to RSVP can hamper the plans of the person who must organize the guest list, food, and space. If you send regrets and later discover that you are able to make it, call the host and ask if there it isn't too late. Be understanding if the host has already filled your position. When chatting with friends, family, or co-workers, give them equal time during the conversation. If you have a pattern of making the discussion all about you, you may discover people walking a wide berth around you or running away when they see you coming. You don't want people to see you as narcissistic or self-absorbed. In this world of people rushing around, you may have become accustomed to running through fast food drive through lanes and eating on the run. Not only is this bad for digestion, it gets you out of the habit of exercising good table manners. When someone gives you a gift or does something special for you, always show your gratitude. Immediately say, thank you. When you get home, send a brief thank you note. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.